Hello, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience. Welcome back. Well, that poll should give you an idea about what this vlog is about. This shaggy mane, I know it doesn't look that shaggy, but it is, it's too thick, should give you another idea. This is the Bond 25 haircut. We've done a haircutting video with John the Barber for every single movie, and we've got to do a Bond 25 one. What makes this a little bit different is we have no title. So eventually this vlog title will change from Bond 25 haircut to whatever the title is haircut. But let's go experience it because John the Barber, you know him, you love him, he has studied this haircut and we're gonna go get this thing done. So come on, let's go in. All right, we're back in holy ground again. Oh, and right away, John, what's up, sir? How, How you are you, Dave? Good to see you. Good to see you too, my friend. So we got to get reacquainted. You probably haven't seen him since the Spectre haircut. This is the guy. <laughs> this is not the, just, just does my hair. You become kind of the global James Bond barber for the Bond community. Yeah, unexpectedly. Unexpectedly. Unexpectedly, but uh, happy to do it. He is happy, happy to, to do be it. Here. And um, so, so we actually took a look at your last video. Um, one of them has over one hundred thousand wow. unique views, yeah. which I, is insane. Yep. Yeah, I've never had anything that had that many likes. Well, and certainly you've not never no. had that many people like you. No. Trust me. Like 10. That's terrible. <laughs> that That's terrible. terrible. <laughs> so, so today, you know, we're here for it. We're here yes. for the Bond 25. By the way, I did something for you. You didn't know this. I do not. I don't know what you're going to say. I am wearing the Daniel Craig outfit that he wore in those pictures I sent you. I have Perfect. Tommy Bahama shirt on. Yes. I have uh, the Tom Ford jeans. I have the, the Wright Sperry. Uh, I have an Omega watch on. I'm set. You just need the haircut. I need the haircut. That's it. I, I, the look is not there. Yeah. Now, um, I walked in and something green uh, caught my eye. Did, did, did you put this out for me? On purpose, yes. All right, so you, you got the Bond beer waiting for me? I do. You, dude, do you like, you're like a service guy. You're like full service. And I, I got one for myself, too. Well, that's just rude. <laughs> I thought these were two for me. Should we open these? Absolutely. All right, so it's no mystery that Heineken is a sponsor. It is going to be in Bond 25. I don't think that's a, a hidden tiger Thank dragon. You, sir. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Thanks for doing this again. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, John takes his own time to do this. Hmm. But um, should we get right to it? I'm ready. Let's do it. So I will sit in the throne. So we saw uh, in the press conference, and then we saw some filming, and we saw what looked like Bond convalescing. Uh, we saw him in the outfit that I'm wearing, which could be Cuba, could be Jamaica, and then we saw him with Felix Leiter, and then we saw him actually just kind of relaxing. Um, and Danielle, you let us know if you want him to cheat and turn the thing around or anything like that. How are we doing? Yep. At any time, like, you know, are you I, cutting I him use, off or is it good? No, I, everybody's in frame. Got it. This is right. so exciting. Right. I use the mirror to talk, but I can always, you know, shift it a little bit oh. if that's easier. What do you think? Whatever is easier. What do you think, producer? John, you do your thing. Right. We don't want to mess up with yeah. the maestro. We've already does. turned off his music, which is killing him. <laughs> I feel like I have to start uh, humming the Wu Tang clan. So, after looking at the pictures with you, we discovered that it's pretty similar to what you have now. It is, yeah. It's going to be a scissor haircut. Okay. Um, no clippers. No clippers. The only okay. clipper I'll use is at the at the end of the cut, just to finish around the ears and the okay. neck. Okay. But we're not using it to do any tapering. Okay. It's just scissor cut. Right. Which you just had a haircut two weeks ago. Yes. So this is more of a maintenance haircut, but right. we're still going through all the the stage you know all the steps of the haircut. right because so. I, I think the magic is that people will often I'm surprised they're not offended but they're not <laughs> they'll show this video to their favorite barber and they'll say do that yeah so right if this you is had more, if you came in you had more hair it's the same steps right more hair would would come off that's right but for you since you just got a haircut two weeks ago it's just going to be a trim yeah and what but, i like too is um not that we need to do anything but right. i don't need to dye my hair at all not that no. i do anymore no. uh because he's letting his hair grow gray right yes yeah. yeah, the it color the color almost is perfectly it, it, like it this. is it is all right so i'll start i usually start on a scissor cut towards the back okay it's just easier for me right it's just you know i don't think there's a right or wrong way to start right you can go left you go right but i like to start in the back so. perfect you know, it's a scissor over comb technique. 
Um, pretty much like what they've done for you know hundreds of years. This is what the old school Italian barbers were doing. Now you went to barber school. You right. didn't go to like salon or style. That's you right. went to barber school. So barber school, did they teach this technique? Yes. Yeah, they were teaching you know pretty much any men's and boys' haircut that you can think of. So scissors, scissors and clippers are, are pretty much what we were taught. But this technique is unfortunately they don't teach this anymore. When you oh. go to well, the schools, not many barber schools are left, so pretty much you now have to go to like a cosmetology school. And oh, there's wow. nothing wrong with that, but, right. but this one technique, unfortunately, they just don't teach it anymore. Yeah. Now, you had a good observation when you were looking at these, and I know you study the photos, and you study me, you study the photos. You, you kind of, you went through the movies, and you were like, well, it's not Casino Royale. Exactly. <laughs> and and it's not super short like Skyfall right. or Spectre. Right. It's kind of more like Quantum of Solace. Yeah, it's, it's definitely that. yeah, it's definitely more like Quantum. Definitely. Right. It's got almost that like uh, long on the top or longish. Right. At least for Craig Craig. Craig. By the way, everybody gets on me about pronouncing his name wrong. Yeah, I didn't know there was a right way to say it. Well how do you say how do you say that actor's name? Daniel Craig. All right, so you say Craig like I do. Craig. Yeah, yeah. All right, so it's a Northeast thing. Yeah, like, I guess. I mean, I didn't know there was a... Globally, right I get vilified. But then again, I was also going George Lazenby. <laughs> it's Lazenby. Yeah, the Philly accent definitely comes out from yeah. time to time. So basically, just starting at the, the bottom of the hairline and then just gently just kind of working the way, you know, the comb right up and just... Let the scissor do the work. Um, you're, you know, when you're doing this, you're not, you don't want to be jumping around too much. You know, it's just kind of steady and slowly just kind of work your way up. Usually these haircuts are too short. For a hairdresser, they would take the hair like that and cut it, but you can see, if I did that, it'd just be too short. Right, right. The hair's too short for me to even do that technique, so. The only way I can think to do this haircut the way it is in the movie would be to do the scissor over comb which technique. Which is, is the which, old traditional way. Is, right, as opposed to, you know, grab the hair in the sections. You know, you could do that, but it just, it, to me, you, it wouldn't be the same haircut. To, to quote uh, something from Skyfall, sometimes the old ways are the best. Yes. And that's not locking the new ways. I'm no. sure somebody could probably tell you there's a better way to do it. But right. this is the way we were taught to do it. and. You know, it's the way they've been doing it for a long time. And I like to do this technique because, unfortunately, not many people do it anymore. Right. So, well, and I think that's why a lot of people, I mean, since the last time people saw you on a video, which, by the way, was 2015. Wow. So I did check. It was like nearly four, four years, years ago. Four years ago. Um, so, he, you know, John's gotten younger. He's lost weight. <laughs> yeah, he's right. He's more tan, more toned. And more gray. More gray, more angsty. You no, know, but I think... The reason what you're talking about, these kind of old traditional ways, but doing it like Bond would have you do it, is why people have sought you out. And correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of people call you up and go, I want the Bond haircut. Yeah, yeah, I've had many emails, you know, people asking if they can make an appointment, uh, people driving down as far as like New York City, which is, you know, what would you say, two hours, yeah, two and a half yeah. hour ride? Uh, I've had a guy come from DC. Oh my gosh. Um, which is about three hours. Uh, I've had, I, I don't remember the gentleman's name. You, I think you may know him, but it was a guy from, I believe, India that uh, oh, was, right, right. was interested. Yeah. Uh, it never came to fruition. But right, right, right. The potential. He was some wealthy, wealthy guy who wanted right. to, and then didn't he even talk about like flying you to India yeah. to get, to yeah, have his was, hair done for him. Right, and, and we never even really yeah. took it a step further. But right, but he was a legitimate, like, multi-multi-gajillionaire. Right. You know. Just the fact that somebody was willing to fly me out to a different country. Yeah, exactly. I think he offered you, like, a Fabergé egg and green yeah, or something. Yeah, I think he even offered to, like, fly, like, my family. Oh, that's right. He said he would, pay, he would actually um, turn it into a vacation, a vacation. or something like that. Yeah, I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm too busy at work, I probably would have taken him up on it, but... Yeah, that would have been it, crazy. Yeah, it's just too, too much of a hardship. And, all right, so you can you can confirm or deny. And by the way, if I, if you need to interrupt me with technique, please do. No, but, um, we're just still doing the same technique. Is it so. true that there is a gentleman 
that moved to Philadelphia specifically to be closer to you <laughs> so you could do his hair? Um, I, I can't uh, confirm or deny that, but there is a gentleman that moved to Philadelphia, um, I believe for business. Oh. I think he just happened to move here for business. Oh. I would like to think it was just for our haircuts. That's but, uh, not as interesting. Yeah. Uh, are we say, saying names? Or sure. We, yeah, uh, we can, yeah. We can say yeah. names. Harris, Harris Thomas. Harris Thomas, who uh, became, runs the blog uh, Dressing Like Bond. Yes. That's right. Has become a, a very good loyal customer. Yes. This guy I see quite often. And, and he sought you out? Through all three of you. Well, yeah, yeah. Now, does he ask for a Bond haircut? He does, yes. He does? Yes. Any particular bond? Well, I believe we do like the Casino Royale. I think his is kind of a fusion. You know, I've taken a couple different of the bond cuts. Right. Because Harris will get the clippers on the side. Got it. I'll, you know, where yours is yeah. absolutely. So we keep his pretty tight, but it is definitely a, a, a combination of multiple. Got it. Uh, bond cuts. Now you have the clippers out. Yeah, so clippers are out. It's just an edger. Yeah. So we're not cutting any hair with this, but you know, just cleaning up the hairline, and I'm not doing any tapering with the edger. You know, just just gently cleaning it up and not going into the hairline. I think that's the key, is to make sure you don't go into any of the hairlines. Right. If you go too high, it doesn't grow out well. Yeah. You yeah. get the stubbles and... I've seen guys with haircuts where their hair is too high on the back and it looks weird. Yes. It honestly looks like they're kind of wearing a wig, which yeah. is nothing against that if you have to, but if you don't have to, don't get your hair cut so high. So for me, yeah, that's, I'm just using the edger just to lightly clean it up, but making sure it's not too high and, and cutting into the hairline, and I right. don't want to be tapering the cut. Because if you know, from what I see from the pictures, his hair is pretty full. Yeah. All the way to the hairline. You know, it's not tapered or clippered into it. And so, you don't um, create what they call white walls, right? No. You don't. Uh, no, no white walls. Just again, that would only be if you cut up into the hairline. Right. So we were saying on the sideburns. I'll come on the left side here. The picture that we saw. The sideburns were definitely a little bit shorter, so we're going to raise them up a little bit. Okay. You know, I'd say we should probably take a good, you know, quarter inch Go off for that. It. I know I keep my sideburns. Right. Head along with this is the right. blonde 25 right. haircut. Now, you know, for a sideburn like this, because it does, sideburns grow faster, they're thicker. It's more like a beard. So I would take the comb and the clipper, this would be a clipper over comb technique, and just lightly, again, not going too deep. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to cut into you. I don't want to taper too short. And just real lightly, just cleaning this up. But no white walls. You want it neat and clean, but it's, try to leave it as natural as you can. Perfect. So I, I feel like this sideburn is a little shorter than what we've done in the past, but it matches That's what perfect. the new yeah, the look cut. is, yeah, good, good. Perfect. I'll good just enough. do that on the other side. Now, by the way, we, we keep calling it the Bond 25 haircut, and John, I don't know if you've heard this, but during the press release, they didn't have a title yet. Right. So there is no title, so... So we can't even call this haircut anything. Whatever, yeah, but, you know, it's going to date really badly, you know, like... Taylor Swift because um, in six months or three months it'll have a title but then I'll just rename the vlog that's all but we won't dub it over. are there any rumors to what the title is it's not Shatterhand okay that's for sham <laughs> right sure. nice um, some people have said it might be called just 007 right because it's uh, it is an anniversary um, it's the 25th movie Okay. So, you know, they want to make something big out of it. Yes. Um, believe it or not, some people have been saying it could be a remake of Dr. No or Honor Majesty's Secret Service. So, but I don't think, they, they won't reuse a title. It's something that, the, the, it seems like the plot, spoiler, uh, the, it seems like the plot is about uh, genetic engineering. Yeah, which I know you've had a lot of genetic engineering. <laughs> oh, yeah. work. I know a lot about that stuff. Yeah, you, you know, you've done a lot. 
<laughs> you, you had your Cavaricis waxed and uh, genetic engineered. So I was just concentrating on your neckline. Please do. <laughs> yeah, don't let me distract you. No, that was the last step I had to use I just, on the, the clip. I used something against dead air, so I'll fill it. You, you know me. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to make sure everything was, was uh, done properly here. Contract-wise, I need to have the label towards the camera. <laughs> Delicious. All right, so now for oh the top, again, just the all a, light, top. a light scissor trim. Right. Um, I feel like your hair and the pictures are pretty similar. Okay. Just, I, I think just a, just a, to a, clean a it. maintenance cleanup. Yeah. But, but people that have longer hair and things like that, is it that they're trying to create a bit of a tuft on the top? Like they want to keep it longer, right? Yes. It's definitely not that Skyfall crew cut, that's for sure. No, there's length on this. I mean, yeah. it's full. It's it's definitely one of the longer uh, of the cuts that I, that I think Daniel Craig's ever had. Yeah. Um, I, I can't remember. Is, is this the longest that his hair has been, you think? I think it is, actually. You know what? I I actually think it's longer than Quantum of Solace. Yeah, slightly. I mean, I'll get a lot it's, of comments close. to the contrary, but um, just, just judging by what it looks like when he's in those shorts and T-shirt... I mean, when it's laying flat, it's like a little on his forehead. Yeah. Yeah, the pictures that we saw, there was two different styles. I mean, the haircut's the same. Sometimes exactly. it was it pulls flat, it back. Yeah. flat to the side, forward to the side. Right. And then when it was up, it definitely looked longer. And we're never going to know. I mean, well, hopefully soon we're going to know what he looks like when he's all done up in a suit or a tuxedo. I mean, he, have, he might have his hair done slightly different, but right. his hair... Style does not vary that much, even depending on what he wears or what he's doing. Did you say in the past that he has a lot of say in oh how my gosh. his hair looks and his clothing? Everything. Right. Uh, clothing, hair looks, the story. He's a producer now. And um, I think he was in the last one as well. He has a tremendous amount of say. I've heard, you know, clothing-wise, uh, brand-wise, um, you know, obviously the character itself. I think there's something very good about that. Um, I have no idea if it's overly intrusive to the other members, but right. he has a lot. So yeah. yeah, he probably says like, I want my hair to be longer. Right. And if he has another project going on, I guess maybe that could impact it. You know, if he's going from this to something else and another project. You know what, he's not the type to do that. Right. And he usually puts Bond at the, the center. Okay. I mean, he... Mm, delicious. Uh, he did have a thing where he played um, this safe cracker kind of hillbilly and he had like white, white hair. Like he wouldn't have done Bond close to that part. Right, right. I do know one thing. He got in unbelievable shape for the film. For this character. Oh film. my gosh, yeah. More so than the other ones? Uh, well, not more than Casino right. Royale. And Quantum of Solace, he was younger. Quantum of Solace, he like got a little bit smaller but he tightened up um but you know he's my age and i tell you when he concentrates he can get into good shape yeah uh one yeah please fact about the haircut so once i did the top usually then there's a little blending right in you know i did the sides mm. and i did the top but then there's a little bit of blending which i just did but right you know, i'm just making sure that the sides and the top yes connect which they already were pretty much doing, yep. but I always like to go over it and just make sure that, that the transition from the sides to the top. But that's huge, because that's what gives him that look that you see in all those pictures from right. the side. And he probably does, or the hairstylist does what I do, where when I style my hair, I put my product in it, and I actually style it forward towards yes. my forehead, not back. Right. So this way you get that kind of blended uh, look to it. Well, the transition's the, the most important part. Yep. You, know, you could do the sides however you want, you can do the top, but if it doesn't blend, then you're going to see a ridge, you're going to see a line. And, exactly. And that's, I you think, see probably, that with, with you a lot see of a lot of it. And it's like, ooh. That's probably one of the most common mistakes you'll see on, on any haircut. Yeah. It's the transition from, the, from the, the bottom and the sides going to the top. Just making sure that, you know, there's no ridge, there's no lines. Right. And that's, I mean, you know, it's not hard to do, you know, because... Uh, if, if the sides were cut even and the top was cut even, th there only is a small area right there that you really got to make sure that transitions. Right, right. 
It's so funny. It's a it's a small, simple thing, like you say. But if you don't do it, it's so obvious. Yes. Like really obvious. That would be the biggest mistake. Yeah. So let me just blow dry it up right. a little bit. And then at the end, I mean, at this point, everything's pretty much done. I just go over to make sure that there's no little detail stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, usually maybe right into the corners here. Just make sure there's nothing hanging over. I know you probably have said this at one time or another. You have to do scissors here. I mean, it makes all the difference. I've yes. seen the difference. What what would clippers have done versus scissors? Would really, it, I mean, I could have blended it, blended the haircut as well with the clippers. But right. It would have been tighter. Okay. You know, you could put big bigger blades on there that could have been similar to this but it never but it's never gonna be the same I, scissor. Yeah, I feel like a scissor cut makes a big difference right. you know, there's something about the way it blends in and I feel like it lays down better yeah you know, oh yeah sometimes I, you know use a clipper and and it kind of shocks the hair almost and right. you'll start getting little pieces sticking out mm -hmm. where I feel like the scissor it just has a smoother look to it yeah but you could do it with clippers it, but it wouldn't have the same finish right I think the finish is, is the difference. Perfect. All right, now we're ready for the shave. Oh, that's not what you're thinking. I'm gonna take a sip. Try not to get hair on my beard. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good point. I should be doing a sip before before I put a sharp object on yep. your neck. Please get a contact eye. Now this is one of the th uh, services not every barber gives, but. It's starting um, to come back. I'm starting to see. Oh, good. Yep. It's starting to make it come back. To me, it's it's almost therapeutic. I mean, that warmth and the, the shave itself. And this is, again, very traditional thing, right? Absolutely. I mean, it, you could use the clippers like I'm doing now. I'll, I'll clean it up with the clippers. Right. Just to make sure there's no long hairs there. But I think there's a big difference when you finish up with a, with a razor. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it'll, first, it'll make it last a few days longer right yeah you'll get a few extra days out of it and uh it just i don't know it just feels good so you've got the warmth um yep this is that, the, that machine is like those those have been around since the, the yeah those are the right? more traditional ones they're they're a few hundred bucks i think they keep going up in price but <laughs> more and more barbers are starting to to shave now that's nice so it's nice to see my razor is a disposable i put a new blade in there before you got in but uh, they, we dispose of them, so this way it's always a fresh razor That's and nice it's more fit. sanitary. Yeah. And, but the old school guys would use the real razor that you would hone and strop yourself. Yeah. Which I still think probably was the best way to do it, but for sanitation reasons and... and uh, well, I appreciate that. No, oh, you're welcome. I don't want some sort of infection. I just feel like, but you, you know, the shave is still really, you know, it's a, it's a good close shave. It's fantastic. And you know, this is called the bond experiences and part of the experience of, you know, an old world barber, traditional type haircut and shave like this is yep. th this part. I mean, it, yep. and it's not just the feel and the warmth it is or the effect. It's the smell. Yeah. Like that kind of menthol, like barbasoli type smell. Absolutely. And it's interesting, you know, listen. Um, I'm not going to get political. There's a lot of not things that... Up. Sorry. I just want to... One more thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. The finish. Yeah. Witch hazel. Yeah. No scent. Yep. No alcohol. Almost no. I mean, I, I, there's like 1%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I like about it, it's it's pretty much like no perfume, no cologne. Right. It's well, because you deal with a lot of skin types, too. Yeah. So you can't screw around it, with that. It's an astringent. So all it yeah. really is, is is pulling out the dirt and oil and, and just kind of soothing the skin. But I like to finish off with the witch hazel much better than a um an aftershave yeah again that's a little bit more tr yeah I, the old school guys i think but, but that's what i was saying is like for 30 minutes no matter what's happening in the world politics religions um stress it, whatever sides you're on which is horrible we even have to talk about that um for 30 minutes you don't have to deal with that because this no. is a very traditional almost um recognizable thing yes we uh we talk about everything and anything in here. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Star Wars. Absolutely. James Bond. John Wick. How Star Wars kind of ruined Game of Thrones because they still yep. have writers. Yep. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, what actor do we... Uh, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Tom, which, Tom which Tom Hardy. Hardy film John watched? Yes. Wine Wednesdays. Don't ask. <laughs> everything is soft. Politics. We'll talk anything. Yeah, exactly. We'll try to leave the politics out. 
Now, if I was going back to work, you'd put product in my hair. Absolutely. Which, are you going back I, to I'm work? not, because it's like 9.30 at night. Well, then let me, um, let's pretend you are going back to work. Oh, you want to put some product in my yeah, hair? I think yeah, let's should. do it. Yes. Why not? Yes. Why, John, I'm going back to work. Well, here's some products. So I'm going to put in a dry what you, paste. Dry paste. What, do you, what is it called? It's okay. called muck, which muck. is what's on the cape right now. Oh! Subtle. Not trying to promote it, but it's being promoted. Um, I dollar. like a dry paste. I okay. like something that doesn't have a wet yes. finish to it, but something that's whole. <laughs> Look what you did there. Yes. <laughs> Awful. So I just I just put a light amount on my fingertips. I just kind of spread it. But what I like about it is it doesn't look like you have product in there. Right. And in the uh, the James Bond pictures that we were looking at, none of those pictures look like he has hair product in there. Right. So it's but very he does. Natural. But he does. Oh, he hundred percent like does. Yeah. Um, Danielle always does that too. It's like she she'll look at someone. She'll go, that person has makeup. Yeah. They're not supposed to have makeup. They just woke up. But yeah, especially with gray hair, you're gonna get like some flyaways a little bit. Yeah, they, the gray hairs don't cooperate. They're like, wiry. They're wiry. Like, yeah. yeah, they are. They're like barbed wire. So just a little product just to settle it down. But the key is, I put in a light amount mm -hmm. and it's dry. Yeah, and I put it in your hair when your hair is dry. I don't put it in wet hair. Because if you put it in wet hair, your hair uh, will look wet throughout the day. That's right. So I don't want to look like Don Draper. Just kind of like those pictures we were saying that we saw that um, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. Yeah. That's awesome. Perfect. Now you're ready to go to work. So ready. <laughs> All right. I will spin you around. Yay. Magical cape moment. <laughs> there you oh go, sir. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So... Here we go. We've been uh, transformed. I'm now uh, doing the whole Bond 25 haircut. John. Yes, sir. You did it again. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Hopefully it's not going to be like four years in between the next movie. No. Who's going to be the next Bond? We'll have to... So much speculation. Yes. Um, it could be. It's not going to be Idris. Sorry. All right. So I know you're a fan. But we'll figure it out. We'll figure out we the will. next haircut. We'll figure it out together. Yes, Thank sir. you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. This has been John McKenna, John the Barber, and David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience, and we will see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching this episode. If you want to be up on the latest from the Bond Experience, just click on this subscribe and subscribe to our channel. You're going to get all the latest and greatest information, plus some exclusive content. And by the way, speaking of content, here's something especially for you, just because we know you. Talk to you soon.